Merry Christmas. Have you been thinking about gifts and who's on your gift list? And here's my question today. How is Jesus on your Christmas gift prep list? Hi, folks. I'm Pastor Andy Ross of Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. I love this verse from the story of Christmas in Matthew chapter 2. Remember the Magi? The, the Magi have traveled to find this child. When they come into the room and see Jesus with Mary, the family, we read that overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I'm not sure those would be gift items I would bring for a baby, but the thought is still there. What can we bring to Jesus as gifts from our lives, our heart, this Christmas? Here at Northminster Church, I have to tell you, we're very excited about these things. We are uh, uh, excited about how we are serving folks on Monday nights with a hot meal every week, and, uh, and in these cold temperatures, we've been providing some new sleeping bags uh, so that folks are staying warm. On Tuesday mornings, our deacon's ministry is providing groceries and clothing and prayer for those who need it every week. We're excited to be partnering this December and into January with Light of Hope Ministries in Africa to raise money to build two rooms of a school in Ethiopia so that excellent education and a Christian witness will be provided in that region for years to come. Here locally, we are working with the Gospel Rescue Mission in renovating and investing in two rooms of the new Center of Opportunity. Uh, it's such an exciting dream come true and that we can be a part of that as a Christmas Advent expression. Um, I have here a gift, and it's an angel tree bag. And this doesn't look like a fancy gift that you would bring to a king, a king named Jesus, but I believe it pleases God's heart. We've been collecting items of practical use and help for folks at the Gospel Rescue Mission to bless and encourage them at this time of the year. Even folks who are making a year commitment of financial support for our church uh, is such a meaningful expression. So friends, this week I want to encourage you, how is Jesus on your Christmas gift list? How are you opening your life, not because you have to, but because we get to, to shine and reflect and magnify that light, that light that shone in the darkness to the shepherds from the manger to the magi, and how Jesus' light can shine from your heart. Put Jesus at the top of your gift list this week, and you will be blessed. And I'll see you in church.